Hey everyone, it's Vicki from Messy Table Studio, and I am day 19, although you haven't seen all the others, but this is day 19. So I had an idea that was inspired by this. It's a bookmark that I, I doodled and um, laminated, and I really like it. I love the colors. It's on a jelly print, and I love the colors, and I just really like this. So I decided that I would like to do... Um, a stamp like this. So I drew it sort of, freehanded it on the, oh, the light. Drew it on the um, paper and then, you know, pressed it on here. You've guys seen me do this for the last umpteen days. But I'm going to do something different about this this time. This time I'm going to carve around the red. I'm not going to do like before I was just carving lines. This time I want solid on this, so I'm going to carve around it. I'm hoping that this is not going to take forever, but I will carve this and fast forward through it. There'll be no music, no talking. My husband's gone to run an errand, so I need to hurry. <laughs> I had to go turn off the TV so I don't have to hear it through the walls. Um, so I'm going to carve and there'll be no talking till the end. Okay, so I did the outline. Let me stamp it and kind of take a look to see how well I did. perfect. So let me go and clean it up and I'll be right back. Okay, so looking at the stamp, I can see there are some places I need to do some cleanup work. And I don't want to interfere with the basic design itself. So I don't want to bump into anything or put any extra marks on this. I don't have to. Um, I did put a thimble on my finger because I go off the edge and I usually poke my finger. So I have no feeling the end of this finger right now. Because carving, 
I poked it so many times that it's all cut up. It's sort of like having um, florist thumb. When you use the knife, a lot of people have slit marks in their thumbs and it's green from taking the um, thorns off of roses or from cutting things. You Sometimes you cut your thumb. I, I When I worked in a floral shop, I had florist thumb. After a while, you don't notice it. But in the beginning, it is a little painful. It feels like you've taken needles and just shoved them in your finger continuously. And then you're sore. It's like a bruise. You get used to it. After a while, you develop calluses and you really can't tell you've stabbed yourself until something happens. Okay, let's see. I just want to get these little black marks off here. I don't really want them on here. So you can cut around the design and try to cut out as much of the rubber as possible. Like I cut some of the edges off because I don't want to have spend all my time carving off the edges when I didn't need them there in the first place. So the best thing to do is just get rid of the extra rubber so you don't need it. It, didn't get, it doesn't get in your way. All right, let's see. I think there was one right here. And something that I learned from the class that I took a couple years ago is that you need to carve, when you do that stuff like this, you need to carve from the inside out and away from your design. I don't always do it that way. I try to remember to do it that way, but I don't always succeed. Let's put it that way. And everybody holds their tools differently. Everybody uses different brands, swears by them so on and so forth. Sort of like watercolor paints. Certain people like Daniel Smith, other people like Schminky, you know. Some people like friends who do custom blends. See like right here, I don't need this extra rubber here. So I'm gonna cut it off. And I don't need the extra rubber in between the flowers. I don't need this here. So I'm going to cut out this section here. See what I mean? But you don't need the extra stuff. Then you need to get rid of it. You don't have to, but I choose to. Let's see. Oh, I don't want to do that. I don't want to get too close to the edge there. I could cut this here, although it's so tiny, who cares? Same with this. Just make a little, a little cut. So many times this saves you from having to do extra detail carving because you cut a lot of the rubber off and you don't need to do anything else to it. Now, ordinarily, I if this was a thicker stem, I might cut in here, but I'm not really sure I want to do that. All right, so... Let me stamp this again, try one more time, see what we got. Oh, well, see, it still has little tiny black marks on it, but I'm afraid that if I let me see where they are here. I don't want to pick at them too much because I'm afraid I'll ruin it. I haven't done little things like this in a long time. Well, I'll definitely get rid of this part here. I can cut that right off. Hello. Goodbye. I can cut the edge of this one off. 
All right, let's see. Where else do I, I cut? Oh, I need to cut some of this down here around the edges here. Get rid of the, the black ink there. Um, a lot of carving sets will have like a blade where you can just go mash down on it and it'll make the cut for you. I just use the X-Acto knife. It's good enough. All right, and uh, uh, uh. I just want to get some of this black marks, some of the black off here, if I can, to make it look a little nicer. I don't want to get too crazy. Let's get rid of this here. And I think I'm going to cut the tip of this off right here because I don't need that black mark there. I don't need this around here. Probably should go right there and get that off. And then anything around the edges here. All right, let me try it again. Uh, it's not going to be perfect, but it's starting to look better. All right, let's look at it one more time. Oh, I can see a place. And it might be because I'm pressing down so hard on the, um, the rubber when I do the print, when I ink it up. It looks a little better. See, it needs it right down here. And then I think I'm going to stop. That's the big one. I need the tiny surgically little bitty one. All right, I need to get this stuff off here. I think, except for one more little thing here. Oh, that one was already loose. I just need to pull it off. Come on. I say I'm going to stop, and yet I keep going. Just little tiny adjustments. And the thing is, is you keep picking at it and keep picking at it, and then you're going to end up with no design. <laughs> so let me stop. Okay, let's try a different color to make this look nicer. Uh, what do I got here? Well, come on. There we go. I don't know how good it'll look because it's got black underneath it. That see, and it made it look really funky. I should have cleaned my stamp off before I stamped it. Okay, one more. Well, some of the black's coming off, but you get the idea, right? I mean, it's it still has marks around it. I mean, I could pick, pick, pick at it. I see it with the green. I see some on the side here. Down here and here and there. I might make some more cuts. Let me do it with the large one on this one and get it over with. And then this one, I think I did not make it deep enough when I cut it. So it, when I mash it into the pad, it picks up the color, like right there. Let's see. A very tiny little adjustment right there. And then I could I wasn't going to, but if I just take a little teeny smack out of it, there we go. Okay. All right, let's try the green one more time. So I know my husband's gonna be back from his errand and then the TV will be back on and it'll be loud as all get out. He has a hearing problem, but 
we, he has not gone to get his hearing checked yet. Eh. 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 There we go. Okay, that's it. All right, so the next part I will do the um, jelly prints. <laughs> that's a word, jelly prints. And you know, that'll be on silent and then I'll come back at the end. Okay, so I have to say I have two favorites. I have this one where I did the green and the blue. This one's not bad, but it's hard to see on the camera. In person it looks great, but it's hard to see on the camera because all the stinking shadows. Um, but I really like this one because you can clearly, you can see it very well on the camera. This one not so much, but it looks good in person. All right, the pink is okay, but I like this one. I, I know it sounds weird, but you can see different shadows, ghost prints of all of them. And I like the way this looks. It looks very faint. It would make a great background to something. I really like this. Actually, I really like this stamp. Huh, maybe I should do some more like this. We shall see. Okay, everybody. I have no idea what day this is. You'll just, I'll just post it. <laughs> See you guys in the next one. Bye.